Hi, my name is Albert with Mainland Cycle Center. Today I want to show you a pre-owned 2007 Suzuki Boulevard S50. S50, so this is 50 cubic inches, which is around 800 cc's. <clears throat> uh, this bike, the S50, is uh, based on, or is, uh, <laughs> I guess it's the next generation from the Suzuki Intruder. Uh, they made in the intruders in 700s, 750s, and 800s. In the smaller intruder, they also made a 1400 intruder, and then there was a 1500 intruder later on. But this would be like the 800 intruder, but this is an 07. They changed the name of their cruisers, Suzuki did, to Boulevard, and they started labeling them by cubic inches instead of uh, cubic centimeters. So hence we have a 2007 Boulevard S50. It is a V-twin engine. It is liquid-cooled, shaft drive. It uh, does have the drum brake in the rear, but it does have disc brake in the front. These have always been a pretty cool looking bike. They're really compact, really different from the other cruisers that are on the market. It's a drag style handlebars, which look nice. It does have a hydraulic clutch. This one's got the little highway bar added. I believe they came from the factory with this little uh, passenger backrest, but the rear rack was added. This bike is in fairly nice condition. The paint is uh, pretty decent on it. There's no heavy dents or scratches or, or rust or anything like that. It is an 07 model, so it's got a little bit of uh, time and, and uh, weathering on it. But uh, all in all, it's a really nice looking bike. Uh, looks to be pretty much all stock except for that rear rack. Spoked wheels with aluminum rims. And, uh, just really nice bikes. These really things are kind of really pretty zippy. There's a twin carb. Uh, a lot of the V-twins on the market are a single uh, carburetor for two cylinders, but this has uh, two carbs. And uh, one of the unique things about the intruders that I always like, or uh, is interesting anyway, uh, is that uh, the exhaust comes out of the front of each cylinder. So on this one you have the exhaust coming out here on the, on the other one. And so because of that you have a carburetor behind the front cylinder and then a carburetor behind the rear cylinder. So a lot of bikes you're going to see those two carburetors between the two cylinders. But on this bike it's behind each cylinder and the exhaust comes out the front. So you can see your exhaust pipe coming out of that front cylinder here. So anyway, just kind of unique, a little different than how some of the other manufacturers did it. Uh, the battery is a, also kind of a different location. It's right under here and it's a little trap door. It drops out of the bottom. But, uh, just really uh, good running bikes. This one's got uh, 11,000 miles, I believe. 11,440 miles. And this bike will crank her up for you. And if you have one of these intruders, you probably know this. One of the things you have to be careful of on these, there's three positions on the ignition switch. Off, on, and then this P. P is park and it leaves the tail light on. Most bikes, you have to push in to get that position. On the Suzuki, it's really easy if you're not paying attention. If you're on, if instead of turning it down and taking the key out, if you turn it up and take the key out, you're going to leave the tail light on. If you walk away and don't realize that you've left the tail light on, you're going to probably have a dead battery. So you have to be really careful of that with these bikes. Just off and on. Don't put it in park unless you intend to put it in park. So anyway, let's turn it on and we'll uh, crank her up. Now I'm going to have to set the camera down because on Suzuki's, you have to pull the clutch. Starts easily, idles good. These are the stock mufflers. They've got a nice sound to them. Well, that's a look at this 2007 Suzuki Boulevard S50. Uh, we are Mainland Cycle Center. We're located uh, in Lamarck, Texas. We're about 30 minutes south of downtown Houston, just off of I-45 here in Lamarck. You can find us online at MainlandCycleCenter.com, by phone at 409-948-4969. Uh, of course, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, but we'd love it if you just give us a call, shoot us an email, or even better, come by and see us here on Ma at Mainland Cycle Center, where we would love to help just any way that we can. Hey, thanks for watching.